Welcome back to Life in the Mountains. Today I'm going to take a couple of the little eyelets that I made. One I made for the bottom of my pallet forks. If you watched that video, you already know about how to make that. Um, these, I, they were just, I just made two more so that I could go ahead and attach them to um, a, um, a three-point um, Reese hitch that I made for my tractor. And that's so I can move trailers around on the property um, without getting off the tractor. All I got to do is back right up to them and lift them up. Um, it's really a, a neat little deal and I made that a long time ago but I never had any place to attach chains. So for safety's sake, you know, I thought, you know, I probably ought to have somewhere to attach some chains on these trailers as I'm moving around just in case someone, you know, one would come loose. I mean, it's very rare that something like that would happen, but just to make sure that I'm not going to be in a, have a problem, um, I lose my trailer back behind my tractor, have it roll down the hill or what have you, I went ahead and made that, uh, those little uh, eyelets for, for that uh, three-point hitch receiver. So if you're interested in something like that, stay with me and I'll show you how I did it. All right, I've laid out a piece of scrap. Um, let's see, I believe this is, uh, well, it has to be probably at least three-eighths scrap that I've got here, and I'm going to just lay it out here. I've marked it already, and what I've done is I've marked, I've squared it all up, and I've marked out three sections, because I'm going to need two um, for one particular piece of equipment uh, to attach chains to and the other one I'm going to make uh, something that slides up on my fork of my uh, one of my forks when I put my uh, forks on to my tractor and it's going to have a hook on it a place to I'm sorry a place to put a hook so that I can lift things with my forks other than just uh, using my forks for what they're intended for I can actually have a hook on the bottom whenever I need it. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, each one of these little squares, let's see if you can see it, each one of these little squares are uh, two and a quarter inches uh, in length going from this point to this point and then from this way up here uh, it's uh, about the same, it's about a two and a quarter square each way and then I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna take a one and a quarter inch um, Lennox bit. I'm going to drill into it so that the bit is in, almost in the center, but not quite, just a little bit uh, closer to this side here so that I'll only have a ha half inch of material. And then that will allow me to put a uh, hook from a, uh, a trailer. Anytime I need to hook a trailer up to something to put the safety chains on it. It's really just uh, just a way to attach safety chains that I'm going to weld on. So if you'll just uh, watch what I do here, you're going to be able to do this yourself and uh, it'll save you a little bit of money if you've got the scrap metal laying around to do it. This is a 3 8 inch hook, 3 8 hook. So any 3 8 hook or tow chain will go through this hole now. And I rounded off these, I beveled these and rounded these off so that it will slide easily. Um, so that should work. That's what I'm going to use to put on my fork uh, as a lifting hook. And I'm also going to use them for tow hooks on the back of a, uh, a three point uh, hitch that I made and I'll show you that here after a while. All right, this is my uh, three-point hitch, trailer hitch to receiver so I can put, uh, attach whatever I want to the back of my tractor and I can pull my trailers around and all I have to do is use the hydraulics to lift up underneath of the trailer and away I go. Really simple design. 
No muss, no fuss, works real good. Okay, I think I will, uh, let's see here. I think I will attach these. Uh, think about, about like this. So the first thing I gotta do is clean, the, clean this metal up so I can uh, weld those on there. Well, that's about it. As always, if you enjoyed watching or you learned anything, please come on back next time and visit with me again. I'm Bob with Life in the Mountains. Thank you.